moving swiftly on. Hello, welcome back to another tutorial, and this is another request, and this time it's a request for a craft tutorial. So we're going to be looking at how I made one of these helmets here. It's now this has been requested by so many people since they've seen the intro, so if you're interested in making one of these, stick around. Let's get crafting. For this tutorial, you're not going to need that many things. You're definitely going to need card. Um, I've got a pizza box and a cereal box. These will work perfectly. They need to be quite big pieces of card or cardboard. You're going to need a pencil, rubber, ruler, glue stick and tape and as well as that you're going to need a couple of pieces of paper A4 or one A3 piece to make a template um, and also at the end you will need some gold paint to finish painting it so um, let's get started. The first step is going to be to make a band that will go around your head so to do that I'm going to use a piece of string to measure my head to find out how big it needs to be and you want to measure just above your eyebrow probably, it's sort of on your forehead, um, and mine needs to be about that long, so this piece of cardboard isn't going to be quite long enough, so I'm going to have to glue two bits together. So I'm going to cut two strips and uh, glue them together. I'm going to make my strips just the width of my ruler because it will be a lot easier that way, so I'm just going to go like that, all the way down. And I will cut those out. And we've got our two pieces that we're going to use to create our headband. So, the way we're going to decide how long it needs to be, like I said, is with a piece of string. So, I know that mine wants to be about this long so I'm going to use a full piece and I'm going to actually take that end of it off I don't want another piece in it so I need all of that piece and then also I'm going to need a little bit more so it needs to be to about there. Now I need to attach these so what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlap them so that I've got a bit to take them together and also I need to remember that at the end I also need another bit to attach to the other side so when you are cutting your card you need to make sure you leave enough space so from there on the piece of string to about there, that is how wide my head is, and then at the end I need to leave a little bit extra, maybe three fingers to attach again. So I'm going to go up to this line before I cut, and then that will leave me enough to create our Headband. If you've got longer cards, you might not have to do this step. You might just uh, be able to get away with doing it like that. So I'm going to attach these two bits together. The way I'm going to do it is with both glue and tape. So I'm going to put a bit of crit stick on here. I'm going to glue it on. And then I'm also going to tape. And when I when I do tape, I'm only going to tape on the inside, so on the shiny bit of card. Because when it comes to painting it, <coughs> you don't want um, tape on the outside. So if you have tape on the outside, you won't be able to paint over the tape unless you're using acrylic paint. And it still won't work all that great if you've uh, got acrylic paint. So try just to tape on the inside. If you've got PVA glue, it may work better on that than um, my normal glue. Otherwise, you get to this point, there's a super important step before you move on, which is to check that this actually fits around your head. So you need to put it around your head like this and make sure that you have a, have a bit that overlaps because it needs to be able to overlap, otherwise you won't be able to glue it together. So if you haven't left enough, then you'll have to get another piece of card and attach the two bits together using another piece of card absolutely fine so you need to wrap this around your head 
find out where it overlaps and then attach those two bits together with glue and tape again. So mine needs to be... So mine actually wants to be exactly that. So I haven't measured mine very well unfortunately. So I'm going to need to attach them together so I will show you how to do that. I'm just going to get a little piece of card. Try and get a flat piece. And that'll work. And I'm going to glue that onto there. Like this. And stick that on there. I'm going to come down to the other side. And that bit's going to go on there. And it is going to try and come apart, which is fine. And we're going to stick some tape on. Side. Make sure those bits stay lined up. If you don't like this, you may need to use PVA glue. Or, as always, if your parents have got a hot glue gun and they're happy to help you out, you could do that. You now have a ring like that that's all attached and it will sit nicely on your head and obviously it'll be round when it's on your head. It's gonna go like that when it's not on your head but that's absolutely fine. So our next step is to create a piece that goes from here up and over to the back and from this side over to there so that it sits on your head um, instead of just falling straight over your head like that. So we are gonna cut a piece that goes from here to here and a piece that goes from here to here. So we're gonna need some more card and we're going to try and cut it about the same width as this. So we're going to go for a ruler's width again. So I'm just going to do exactly the same again. I'm just going to cut, I'm going to cut two pieces um, that are going to be the same width as my ruler. If your, if your ruler is thinner, that's absolutely fine. It'll work just as well. My ruler just happens to be quite a thick ruler, but it'll work fine, hopefully. All the way across there and once again we are going to cut that out and there we go so we've got two strips again so we don't need that piece so now we're going to need this back again right so we're going to take this piece and let's get it stuck on so a bit of glue on the front and just going to stick it on in the middle like that also going to tape it to make sure it doesn't come off. said now you need to work out where about you want to cut this so you need to put it on your head like this and I know mine needs to be attached about there so I'm going to cut it off there be really careful not to chop my fingers off I like all my fingers and I'm going to attach that inside there exactly the same way so glue and then tape. Now I have a piece that looks like this so it looks like a cap and it should sit nicely on your head. So we also need to now do a piece that goes across and to do that we're going to do exactly the same thing but with this. So again we're going to attach it here and then we've already got this piece here so we don't need to measure it on our head again so we're just going to glue that onto there, pull this bit down that it wants to be about that long. So take our scissors and you can either cut it whilst it's on there or you can mark it with a pencil then cut it off and we'll just glue that piece onto there and then we'll have our basic cap sorted. Okay so I've glued both sides on now so you should end up with something that looks a little bit like that. I've just got to tape these pieces on. I haven't done that yet. 
so on the side here I'm just going to put a big piece of tape across there just to make sure it's even more secure and then we have um, the top of our helmet now I would suggest possibly gluing these two bits together or just taping them on the inside just to make it a little bit more solid so just hold it in place and tape right the way across them like that and on the inside there you can see that I've taped them together we've taped all the way around and you should have a hat now that should fit on your head like that So to complete uh, the top of our helmet, we need to do another two of these, but one from here to here and one from here to here to make it um, almost solid. There'll still be little gaps, but that'll be, that'll be fine. We'll sort that when we get to it. So we're going to need some more card once again. And, oh, wrong card. We need our cereal box. That looks for our next step. And once again, we're going to need to cut another two strips use my ruler again let's make sure it's all the same width right the way across and I will cut those out there we go I've got another two in case I've glued both of these on at one side. You don't have to do both at the same time, I just did it to save a bit of time. And I'm going to pull this bit over here and that's going to get attached there. I just need to cut it down to the right length. So it wants to be cut off about there. And we will glue that on. So take the back like we have with all the others. And I'll probably put another piece of tape on there as well. And whilst I'm on this bit, I'm actually going to put some glue on here. And then these two bits will hopefully stick together as well, making it a bit stronger. And we're going to pull that through. Once again, we're going to find out how long it wants to be, which is about there. I'm going to cut it. And then I'll glue that on, tape it on, and we'll be on to the next step. Okay, so you should end up with something like that. So that's going to be the main shape at the top of our helmet. Now is a good time to check it actually fits on your head, because if it doesn't, probably going to have problems later. Mine fits pretty pretty snug at the moment, which is good. And we need to move on to the next step. Step. You don't necessarily have to do this step. Um, you could skip it out, but I'm going to do it because I think it'll make it look a little bit better. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to try and fill in these gaps here. And we're going to do it with um, our offcuts. This is the offcuts um, that I had from earlier. And we're going to cut pieces that are the width of these gaps here. So this one happens to be the right width. And I'm gonna slide it in, and it's just gonna to go to the top like that to fill in that little gap. And I'm gonna do that all the way around, so I'm not going to go right over the top. I'm only gonna cut it to about there. And I'm gonna go do a bit there, do one there, that one will have to be a lot smaller. Do one there, do one there, until we have gone all the way around. Like I say, you don't have to do this step, um, but I'm going to fill in all of these gaps. So, like I've just done here, and you'll just pop a bit of glue on the bottom here. Slide it into the gap you've got there. Take that piece in there. 
goes onto there, like that, and we'll turn it, curve it onto there, and glue that piece onto there. This is where a hot glue gun would make things a lot easier if your parents have one and they're willing to help you doing it. So attach all of those and then we're going to push it down and put a little bit on top of there as well and that will be our helmet finished. So I've attached one of these in between every single one and they're all different lengths but it doesn't matter as long as it's long enough that it will reach the top. And so what I would do is I would cut them all off so that they're long enough to get to just about the middle, like that. So they all need to be about the same height. Except for one, because that's going to go over the top of them all. And then on the top of every single one, what you're going to do is you're going to make it a point so that it fits in a little bit better. So the top of every single one, you're going to do that. little bit is just to essentially glue or tape them all down like that you see how it fills in the gaps that we have so you just want to put a bit of glue down there and then inside tape it down as well and then your last piece when all of these are down your last piece in fact we're going to keep this last piece the same as all the others actually I think and see why when we do the next step. So all of these pieces look like a king's crown at the moment, so if you want the king's crown you can leave it like that. If you've got to carry on with Spartan helmet, then we need to carry on and glue all of these bits down like that to make a solid top of our helmet. And then so all of those bits have been glued down. Again as I said a hot glue gun would be helpful when you're doing that next bit. Um, and I've taped everything together inside. So you should now have um, almost what just looks like a cap. So this is gonna be the base of our helmet. So it's gonna sit on top of our head. Again, try it on, check it fits. If it fits, it sits. So I normally now would paper mache the whole thing. Now there's two reasons I do that. The first reason is it would smooth out all of these um, gaps and also it would make your helmet last a lot longer, it will make it a lot stronger. So if you have the time, I definitely would advise paper mache in the whole of this bit now before you add anything else. For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to, but I am going to add a little bit on top here just to hold these bits in. So I'm just going to measure a piece for the top, this bit's going to work okay I think. And it's just going to sit on there. So all I'm going to do is cut it into a bit of a circle, roughly. And I'll just glue that piece on there, just to hold down all of these bits to make sure they don't fall and um, come unstuck. Sorry. So I'm going to glue that onto there. Okay. So this is the perfect width for our mask, but it needs to be slightly uh, longer. So, I'm going to glue this piece of paper onto it like that to make it a little bit bigger so we can sort out our template. So, I'm going to put some glue there. And that side as well. This is what we're going to draw our template on. 
So the way we're going to do that is we're going to fold this in half because I need to find the middle. We'll fold this in half. And then I'm going to fold it in half again the same way. And I'm going to flatten all of our folds so that when I undo it I can see every fold. So it's now split into quarters. So we've got our halfway point and our two quarters, which is what we're going to need. Because this down the middle here is going to be where our nose piece is going to be. So from the top here, it needs to slope down because the top bit should be sort of fairly pointy. So from here, we're going to slope down like that and cut off that little corner there. Now what I'm going to do so that I can make sure they are both symmetrical both sides is I'm going to cut that piece and then I'm going to fold it over and I can just copy it and trace it with my pencil on the other side cut that piece out as well so now I know that both sides are the same so they are symmetrical which is what we are aiming for on this helmet because even though it's an old helmet it would still be pretty close to symmetrical so that's going to be the top of our helmet there so now we need to work out where the eye holes are going to be and where the nose piece is going to be so where they're going to work out where our eyes need to be cut is we're going to take a ruler and we're just going to draw a line between the bottom of these two cuts and then using the same ruler that you used earlier to cut your strips of your helmet you want to draw another line so it needs to be the same width because that, when you've attached this to your helmet, that is going to be where your head is. So that's going to be, your eyebrows will be here and here. So if we put our eye holes too high, we won't be able to, um, it won't look right. And if we put them too low, we won't be able to see. So we need to do this bit. So as I say, put your ruler across, draw your line across, draw another line across, and you know that your eyes will be sticking out somewhere down there. So, our nose piece is going to come down the middle here. Now, I would measure about how long your nose is. I would do it with your fingers and I would put, them, put it onto there and then make it a little bit longer than that. So, I've measured my nose, which is that, and I've added a little bit onto it as well. I've added maybe a finger, a finger's distance, or maybe two if you've got small fingers and then we can draw a line across like that and we're going to draw our nose now the nose is going to be or the nose piece is going to be we're going to draw a triangle on the bottom like that and then we're going to join the corner of these two bits of triangle right the way up to the top point of our helmet like that you can go all the way up to the top if it, if it helps you and that piece there is going to be the nose piece of our helmet now the eyes I know that my eye is probably going to be about there and there that's going to be where my eyes are roughly So, I need to cut my eye hole out like this. So we're going to start here, in line with where I think my eyes are going to be. And we're going to go diagonally up, like that, all the way up to that line. And we will do the same on the other side, but to make sure it's symmetrical, we're going to do one side, flip it over, cut it out, and we'll, we'll copy it onto the other side. So we're going to go up to there and where it meets this line here, 
so and then we've got our quarter line here so it shouldn't be quite up to the quarter line where it meets here it's going we're going to go down to there down to our quarter line there actually we're not because I don't think that's going to look quite right I think that might be too we'll stick with it like that and we'll see what it looks like so we'll go down to that line if it's wrong I will redo this part of the video if it doesn't look right and then here we're going to follow this line here to here so we're going to follow it like that and our eye is going to sit in there so it's going to follow like that we're not going to go all the way to the nose we're going to go to here and then when we get to here we're going to draw a line so basically we're aiming for halfway between our quarter mark and our half mark so right in the middle and then from here we're going to go straight down to our quarter mark here I'm going to use a ruler so you can see we're going to go straight down to there like that so it should go from the nose to this line and then we go diagonally down to about where the quarter line is we follow the line back again and then straight down to there and then from here we're gonna go diagonally up but we're not gonna go up to the same point as here so you can go across here so you can see there but we're not gonna aim for there we're gonna aim for a little bit lower because it should be sharper on the front than it is towards the back so I'm gonna go I'm gonna aim for about there this bit doesn't matter too much it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect like that and that's going to be the side and also this is optional you don't have to do this piece what you can do is you can go like that and then up to there but that bit is definitely just that's how I did it on my first helmet so I just thought I'd do the same um, so that it works and it makes sense I'm hoping that that will be about right luckily once you've cut out this template you'll be able to put it on your face before you do it in card to make sure that it all fits so I'm going to cut all this bit out here to the nose and then I'm going to flip it over and trace it so let me get my scissors Let's cut this all out. And you notice as always that I never use the ends of the scissors, it's always the middle. done that all you're going to do is fold it over and just trace the same onto the other side so that we have a symmetrical or a close to symmetrical helmet it should be pretty symmetrical if you do this if you do this bit right and be super careful with the cutting but again it doesn't matter too much it's not perfect. And I'll cut that out and then we'll have two symmetrical sides. Something looking like that. So now to check that we've, um, we've cut it out to the right sort of size for our eyes, what you want to do is get your helmet, work out where the front of it is, and I would blue tack this onto your helmet. So line up these bits onto here. And I would just blue tack this on here and try it on and 
and see if you can actually see out of it because if you can't you need to adjust the eyes so I'll do that now so you can see what I've done but I've not got the blue tack to hand hopefully it should fit something like this you should be able to see out if you can't you need to adjust your eyes so that you can actually see and these two bits should sit sort of on your cheeks roughly like that so I'm pretty happy with mine so I'm going to change mine's card and we'll glue it on so I've taken it back off again and we're going to transfer this onto card cut it out and then that'll be the front of our mask pretty much complete so luckily I happen to have this piece of pizza box that fits this on it perfectly now this wasn't planned but very lucky so I'm going to blue tack it on which I've done and I'm going to draw round round it and cut it out so you don't need to watch me doing this bit but I will just show you me drawing around so when I'm trying to draw around my stencil you need to hold it on the edge if you don't want to hold it in the middle you need to hold it on the edge so I'd definitely blue tack it down first and then you can follow the edge of the paper now you don't want to push too hard towards the paper because it will just make the paper crease up and you need to make sure you don't move your stencil as you're going around because if you do you'll end up with an unsymmetrical helmet so you go all the way around your stencil as carefully and neatly as possible because this is the bit which everyone's going to see this is the front bit so really this is probably the most important part Go. So I'll take that off, you can see that I've got my stencil transferred onto there and I'm going to cut that out and we'll be ready to get it stuck on. Should end up with something that looks a little bit like that and it's ready now to be attached to your mask. Before I do that I am going to add a little bit of battle damage because I'm doing it like um, one of the Spartan masks. So I'm gonna do a little, cut a little slit into my mare so it looks like he's been into a fight. I'm gonna cut a little slit there so it looks like somebody's maybe slashed down with a sword like that. So you don't have to do this, but I'm going to. I'm just gonna cut out a little triangle there. Right, I think we're ready to attach this to our helmet now. So you need to work out which is going to be the best bit to be the front. It'll probably naturally be an egg shape pointing sort of one way. Like it, it looks like that should be the front of mine. And when I put it on, that bit does fit nicely on the front. So I'm going to attach mine onto this side. Now, whichever way you do this, um, there isn't really a right or wrong way of doing it. I would just put glue across there, pop it on and then wrap it up and hold it. If you've got pegs you could peg it on uh, and I'd also tape the inside which I'll show you now. I'll just glue it on now and then I'll tape it as well. So it should glue on like that and I'm just going to tape all of these bits on whilst the glue dries. And also make the helmet that a little bit stronger. Hopefully it shouldn't come off. It's quite a heavy bit this. Especially if I'm trying to show you how to do it. So you might just 
just have to trust me that I'm doing it like I say. And I would go all the way around taping it onto the helmet to make sure that it is as well attached as it can be. Like that. And we should be attached. Now, I'm going to show you, I'll tell you something that I wish I had done on my first helmet because uh, I didn't and now it's a little bit broken so it's a good thing I'm making a second one. So you'll notice that these bits here are a little bit flimsy so they're not super super strong. Same with the nose picks. So what I would suggest doing would be getting um, a couple of lollipop sticks and just gluing them onto here to stop them from snapping and that would um, yeah, it would stop these bits from folding in and uh, breaking as easily. Or if you are paper mashing it and you paper mash it all of it, that will also reinforce these a little bit, making them look a little bit um, a little bit better, and also making it stronger generally, which would be really useful. Right, so our last step is to create our mohawk. So the way I'm going to do that is actually with um, some slightly thicker corrugated card, but it will work fine with thinner card. It's just you'll have to cut a lot more pieces. So everything I do with the corrugated card, the thicker card, you can just do with normal card if you don't have any thicker card. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut um, a piece that's going to fit from here. So just behind the tip of the helmet from here, all the way around to the back. So you need a piece that isn't that long, so you need to know how long that is. So I'm going to use a thinner piece of card to measure it. So it needs to go to there. And I'm going to draw a line across there. And I will cut that bit. double check that that's looking right so that is the length that I'm going to make this so I can put this to one side now because I don't need it for the moment I do need this piece so I am going to cut this piece in half because my mohawk doesn't need to be as thick as all of this half of this will be perfect. So that is how thick the mohawk I'm going to make is going to be. So if you're doing it with thinner card, you're going to cut lots of pieces like this out and stick them on top of each other until they are about that thick. Until they're maybe as thick as one of your fingers, as I said. I'm going to do it with this thicker card just because it'll be hopefully a little bit quicker for me to do. So I'm going to make it about that thick. And I'm going to cut a big long piece. like that, the same length and the same width so that I can stack them on top of each other like that to create the start of um, my mohawk. So obviously if you're doing it out of a thinner card like this you're going to have to cut a lot more, I think you're probably going to have to cut about 8 or maybe 10 and sticking them all together. So to get the same thickness of this so you want about 4 pieces if it's the corrugated card like that and if it's this sort of card maybe 10 you're going to stick them all together like that in a moment and I will show you how we're going to do that. Okay so you don't want to glue them together until we've put one onto the helmet first because otherwise you'll glue them together and they'll get stuck like that and we won't be able to make them curve. So if it's corrugated card like this you need to just bend it so that it's going to curve and just make it so that it's, it's happy to curve like that, do it to all of your pieces, and just bend it into a circle if you want, put it down your hand, all 
those nice little um, ridges and layers will help you do that if you just cut it the right way. And we're going to, one at a time, we're going to glue one of these from the back to the front like that. And then we're going to glue the next one on and the next one on and the next one on until it's looking a little bit thicker. So I would just glue them on with um, PVA glue or if you've got a hot glue gun that your parents are happy to use with you, you could do that as well. Okay, so I've glued my first piece on. I've tried to keep it as um, close to central as possible so that when we make our mohawk it sticks in the middle of our head and not off to one side. So that's just one <coughs> and all I'm going to do is glue one on top of that and I'll glue the next one on until I glue all of them on and there will be that thick. So I'll do that and then we'll um, get on to the next step. Okay, so I've glued those four pieces on, which is going to make the, what would be the metal part of our mohawk helmet. And now we need to make the bit which would be made out of maybe feathers or hair. Obviously we're not going to make our feathers or hair, but we're going to make the big fan piece that goes like that. And I'll show you how we do that now. The way we're going to make the fan part is using a piece of paper. I chose red paper just because I like the idea of having a red fan. You could do it white and then paint it, or you could choose a different colour paper. And all you're going to do is fold it in half, like that, which will give us a long piece. And I'm sure you've been shown before how to make a fan. And we're going to do that. So all we do is start from this side and we're going to fold over, not lots, but a little bit of our paper, like that. And then we're going to flip it over, so you can see I haven't folded over loads, just a little bit. And then we're going to flip it over, and fold it the other way, and then we're going to flip it over, fold it the other way. And we're going to keep on doing that until done the whole piece of paper. Now this will take quite a bit of time, but it'll be worth it I think in the end, because it should look rather good. I'm going to need to do two of these to fill the whole mohawk. need to be absolutely perfect. Make sure it's nice and flat, and then it should look something like that. So you're going to need, I think, probably two of these. I think we'll do. So I'll leave you to make another one of these, and then when we're back, I will have made two. I have two of these fans, and as you can see, they are going to curve nicely to go onto our helmet. So going to attach them like that and hopefully it's going to be the right size to fit all the way across. Now attaching these is something that is, is probably going to be quite difficult. Um, it's something that will be so much easier with a glue gun um, and that would be the easy option. Um, so if your parents do have a glue gun I would ask them to come and give you a hand with this. Um, this bit definitely, um, because I think you would struggle to get that to stick with PVA glue, but you certainly could have a, a go. So you're going to glue that on like that, and then the next one's going to go and be attached to it. So I would glue these two bits together first, like this. Glue. That. Give them a chance to 
stick together. together and squish it all together and then you should be able to attach this onto there and one nice big fan like that. So I'm going to glue mine on now and then we'll have a look at what it's done. Okay so that's our helmet almost finished. We've got our red mohawk on there glued on. It was quite tricky to glue on, even using a glue gun, so I had to unfortunately use one. Um, so hopefully you've managed to get it to stick. You could obviously make the mohawk as tall or as short as you like. You could also add a piece down here to make it look a bit more decorative. You could carry this on going down. If you have a look at some pictures of um, old Spartan or Roman helmet helmets, you'll see that they are quite decorative. And all that we've actually left for us to do now is to paint everything but the red bit gold. Okay so that's our tutorial finished. Hopefully you've ended up with a helmet that looks a little bit like this. Now if you've had a go at making one I'd absolutely love to see it so do feel free to ask your parents to send me a picture because I'd love to see your effort. Until next time, keep on crafting.